Hi guys! Ooh. What's up human beings? I'm Gabrielle and if you don't know who I am, you can actually Google me. Say, Gabrielle Hamilton, Oklahoma dancer. I dare you. Actually, this is not the video for this. I'm actually making this video because I've been getting a lot of questions as to why I choose to be bald. Like, why wouldn't I choose to be bald? Do you not see me? I'm gorgeous. But let's get to the story. When I was in high school, sophomore year, my grandmother received a haircut, what we would say, the black sheep. The darkest one, kinky hair, baby. That's what she had. Everybody else in my family is Hispanic. If you don't know, Belizeans have Garifunas, which is like African based. And then you got my family. Uh, I ain't gonna say what they called them, but um, they're more Hispanic. Uh, but my grandmother don't look Hispanic, so she got a haircut. She always has short hair. Um, but this summer, she got a haircut, and they cut it a little shorter than what she wanted. I seen her, and I was like, you're gorgeous. You are gorgeous. Like, ever since Cassie and before that, I've always had an itch to cut my hair. Like, I did the half cut because of Cassie. She ate that. But because of Cassie, I did a little side part. My mom hated it. My daddy's side Jamaican. My mommy's side Belizean. When you have these two island people come together in America, my mom is already, like, born here. My dad, not born here. But still, like American stuff was not in my household. It was very much a Caribbean household. And when I came home with the shaved part on my mom's side, they thought I was lesbian. Uh, and I was like, mm, no, I'm not. <laughs> I just love the way how this looked. With that being said, on top of that, my mother really didn't appreciate me cutting my hair. She really thought that women are truly beautiful with hair. That's how she was raised. Like, edges made the femininity. I had this battle with my family for a very long time, like since I was 15, 14. Like, I was always outlandish with my expression. I wasn't a bad child. I just, I did what I want. Like, I wanted to get a tattoo. I wanted to, like, use my canvas. I was literally an artsy baby. I'm from New York. I'm an artsy girl. <laughs> like, what you expect? I got to high school and I was making like my money. Like I was making my own money. I was already making my own moves before that just because of circumstances. But in high school, I really just became independent. With this independence, got my tattoo, got, was doing my own wigs. Like I was doing a lot of stuff because expression is a form of me. Not only with dance, but with my body, with my canvas, with my art, with my writing, with anything I touched, I was just an artsy farsy being. Sophomore year, during my lunch break, as I was a janitor in the Bronx at this school, I came back home with no hair, and my dad was like, what the actual? What is going on? Are you lesbian? I was like, no. I just love this haircut. This haircut is so beautiful. I seen this woman, performing Man in the Mirror by Michael Jackson at City College and it was a solo. She had a short haircut and I was amazed. I was in love. To keep track with the story, I seen two women, my grandmother and a performer with a short haircut that I could not deny that this beauty was off the chain, bruh. So when we get to sophomore year of college, I was working as a janitor in the Bronx at the school. And during my lunch break, I said, you know what? I want to cut my hair, bruh. Like I was just going through a lot with my hair. It was just like, it was curly. I was natural at the time. And I just, it was hot. I wasn't wearing no wigs, baby. Wigs now is expensive, but I was complaining back then. That's crazy, because y'all are dropping arm, legs, and coochie here for wigs. I don't want to do that no more. After you realize doing your own hair that it takes a lot of time, you don't want to waste time on your hair anymore. That's where I was at. So I went to the Dominican barbershop, got my hair cut as he was flirting with me, and I was like, mm, okay, this might be a little... Why y'all flirting with me? I kind of liked it, though. <laughs> but I remember the barber was telling me like you want it shorter and I was like yo cut it off cut it off he was like you sure you sure every time he's cutting it you sure I'm not gonna sit here and say yes again that's like one of my pet peeves if I say one thing 
ask me again okay i'll let you know but the third time you heard me do what i said i just remember like all this hair coming out like seeing it off the floor and my hair was like a burgundy red type time the only thing i like really regret was that i had a lineup <laughs> i had a lineup here y'all and i was like damn I still look fire though. Know. I remember that whole day. I felt good. I put on my cutest short dress. It was flowy. Had my little chancletas on. I was in the town in Harlem. I felt so good. But I think it was like 2015 where I cut my hair in August. Never looked back ever since. Like I had periods where I did do wigs. I did do, you know, I had my short knee long haircut. Like I did all of that. But there's just something about having a bald head that really solidifies my aura my beauty, my me. I am Gabrielle Hamilton. Bear. <laughs> Bear. I choose to be bald because I really feel immaculate, beautiful. And it's the best hairstyle for me that suits me. So yeah, I cut my hair every two days to be bald. You know, this is like jokey thing to joke around bald people and stuff like that. But baby, if she's bald, she's gorgeous. And until you can do it, baby, and have confidence, don't talk about nobody else. Even if it's a condition, don't talk about nobody else. If you cannot do it yourself, don't judge. That is the reason why I chose to be bald. And I choose to be bald to this day. Y'all, bald is amazing. Going bald is amazing. Choosing to be bald is amazing. If you can do it, if you want to do it, do it once in your life. Just, just once. Even if it's like a buzz cut. Do it once. Do, do it once. Like, just feel what it feels like to have the wind just... <sighs> feel what it feels like to just look at yourself and not gotta do nothing. Just a little eyebrow, a little eyeliner, a little eyelash, and you good to go. But that's my... I did have my periods where I was bored and I was beating the face. Like, in college, I was beating my face, honey. I was fierce. I was still fierce. And I'm still fierce with the natural look. It really don't matter. It's all about inside. How do you feel about yourself inside? It's gonna show what you see in the outside. I'm getting a little bit too giggly. Don't judge nobody if you're not gonna do it yourself. I choose to be bald because I am truly beautiful. And I don't need hair to show my beauty, for real, for real. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions for me, let me know. I'm an open book. And I love to chat, as you can see. So yeah, bye y'all.